Welcome back to another video. And so let's take a look at the Obey Omnis EGT. Now this vehicle is an electric vehicle and we're gonna see how it stacks up on how Rockstar implemented it into the game. Now, most of the Obey vehicles, which is Audi in real life, don't really do that well, unfortunately. Now, I do like the color of it. The last EV from, from Obey that we had is the Echon. That did not do so well for me. So let's hope this is different. Interior, already fitting the characteristics of this car. It definitely looks nice. Now, let's take this thing for a test drive and we'll hit the streets of Los Santos. Definitely love the exterior of this thing. This thing is nice. I wish this was a combustion engine vehicle, but Eh, it's alright. We need more EVs in the game. More variety, I guess. So, I guess this should be one of them. What brings you in today? Now, let's do... We're going to upgrade this car fully mechanically and let's see what's available okay front bumper whoa okay in car. whoa that's 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 that looks amazing most likely gonna do that do that this is okay it's weird but it's it's, it's extreme but yeah let's just do what we thought what we originally planned on not too crazy we're just gonna leave like few carbon accidents on this thing Just to like complement the yellow all right so vented fenders 1500 not that bad i'm definitely doing that oh the full carbon grill uh nah i'm not going to do that definitely a good option though uh carbon hood no i'm not gonna do that uh lights Xenons, yes, of course. It's an EV, so it should have the best lights possible. The light, the, I like the stripes on that. Those, I like those stripes, but I'm not, whoa, look at this. This is nice. Um, Gold green? Whoa. Definitely like that. This, 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 this has some very good livery so far. Whoa, look at that. Hard up abstraction, urban camo. Okay. Still sticking to the yellow guys. Uh never brag plate, of course. That's like the model. Let's see if we could put some chameleon for the second secondary. Okay, so that's the mirrors. And let's see. Do I have some for free and uh I'm not a GTA Plus member, but I have some for free. Let's see if we could apply some, you know, something nice. Red Prismic Pearl. Okay. That, yeah, let's do let's do that one. Oh, the red the, the chameleon is coming out on the roof. Most like okay. Definitely expected that. A uh, ski box with the chameleon color on it. Nice. Ski box with the regular color on it. Um roof spoiler. That's definitely nice. The roof spoiler is definitely nice. Or low key. But uh, let's do because I will be racing that car. I did the that spoiler, and unfortunately, guys, the reason I cut the recording there, it doesn't have any transmission or turbo tuning. Unfortunately, we shall see how that affects this car. So, driving the, driving the car, car does perform strictly at the top end. Acceleration is not necessarily a strong point. Oh. And a turning. Turning is not that bad for electric car, whereas the Core Cyclone 2, I cannot turn while I have my finger on the accelerator pole, pet, pet, the accelerator trigger. So, definitely, it's an improvement somewhere, but if you're looking for the raw speed, well, this car is going to be available on the last gen so this should be like the best of the best 
but if you're a next gen person like myself you're already used to something like the cycle the class cyclone and the cyclone too so it's definitely not impressive when the cyclone 2 could break loose on all four wheels at the same time and this is just waiting on its power band to get into like how why, why is it turning like that it's so it's it's definitely a high-end car i'm going around the corners and it's not really like giving me anything you got to really position yourself properly when you're racing this thing because i could tell that if you don't do that, the opponents will catch you. Now, if you are on next gen, I do not recommend buying this car. $1.7 million, you might as well put the difference on that and buy the Cyclone 2. If you have a, if you're on the last gen, there's the Coil Cyclone, no, no, the first gen car, Cyclone. That should be definitely good enough. I love the how I love how this car looks. If you're a guy that doesn't race, this is a good guy. If you're a person that doesn't race, disregard that statement, that previous statement, and buy the car because this had definitely it's definitely a, a good looking car. I like how it looks, but they just it seems like to be a trend that the Obey vehicles looks good, but they just don't perform. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Rockstar needs to add like a like a buff to these things. This the the e -tron and this so that's pretty much it the car looks amazing especially when i slammed especially when it, with it being slammed i definitely think it looks nice so that's pretty much it with me that's pretty much it guys thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe comment down below what you like about the car would you buy it yes or no thank you guys so much